Hey there, my name is Frank Caron, and I'm an experienced cloud solution engineer at Salesforce. Today, I want to talk to you a little bit about externally embeddable flows with pre-filled variables. So this is a really cool way to extend the power of your flows out to external websites and embed them in non-Salesforce properties, but without losing some of those cool capabilities that come when you use a flow in the context of, say, Experience Cloud. Namely, the ability to actually pre-fill values into that flow and some of the fields and use them in your flow. So what we've done is we've put together a little code repo and an unmanaged package that have some of the capabilities. Um, but I'll give you a very, very quick tour uh, of what we're kind of trying to accomplish here. So, so this is our end goal. This is a external website, something I've just thrown up on AWS, uh, and it has an embedded flow in it. And if I actually click to start the flow, what I'll see is that the first field in that flow has actually been pre-filled. And I've achieved this by actually using the URL parameters uh, on this external website. So this would actually allow me to, as the developer of this external website or maintainer of this external CMS, to actually feed values into the flow uh, for purposes of pre-fill uh, or even for other kinds of automation uh, behind the scenes in the flow. And so as you can see, that value is actually ending up in the flow. And from there, just like a normal flow, I can use that value. So the way we actually built this uh, was by building, uh, you guessed it, a flow. So I've built out a pretty standard flow that has a screen and some, some uh, assignment rules and things like that. But the magic is all really happening in this set query var action. Now this is a local action that we've defined with a custom component. That component is really where the magic happens. So what we do with this component, and bear with me as we look at a little bit of the code here, is we actually parse the URL of the browser at the time that the flow is running. Because the flow is running in an external context, that means that external site can actually define what's in those query parameter values and pass them down through the URL into the flow. Now in this example, we've really just looked for this kind of var name as a fixed field, but you could easily extend this to have as many values or different values uh, as you want. Now, once you get the package or the repository, you'll need to set up a few things. We've included this component in it, um, but what you'll actually have to do is then ensure that you have your core security settings for wherever your external site is gonna be uh, so that it has permission to run the flow. You'll need to actually set up a community, which is gonna power the embedding capability for flows. And then you'll also need to set up an embedded service deploy. And this is really the standard platform feature that allows you to uh, select a community, select a flow, in this case, the custom flow that we've built, and then generate uh, the snippet of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript that you'll embed in your external website. So in this case, my external website is really, really, really simple. And I've given you this example. It literally just takes that embed right from the embedded service uh, deployments feature uh, and makes it available in uh, Amazon S3. But you can host this HTML uh, literally anywhere you want. Cool. So very, very simple, but super effective way to use flows in an external website without losing the ability to seed into that flow values, data, for both automation and pre-fill purposes. Hope you like this.